What is up, guys? So, I'm showcasing um, all that comes with the, uh, the the Stinger XT. The reason why I'm showing you this duty belt, and I'll show that right now, is because uh, the the Streamlight Stinger XT is um, commonly referred to as a mini flashlight because it is small compared to the mag lights, which are pretty big in the duty world, at least. Um, this is by no means a small flashlight compared to other flashlights out there, but it is a very universal flashlight, which is why I bought it. That's because... Come on. There. This is a universal flashlight holder with a universal nylon duty belt. Only a few things... Don't worry about the duty belt, but... Um, generally, uh, nylon duty belts are universal, so that's why I started out with um, a duty belt. And uh, but comes out of there easy. It is a universal um, flashlight holder, so it is able to hold that very easily. This is um, one of the best in the industry here. Um, there are a few flaws that I've noticed. Um, it is all metal construction. This is like a rubber uh, rubber grip. Until there's like little lines in there, but um, there are some flaws, and I'll get over that in, in a minute. But uh, this is not plastic. This is a, as far as I can tell, it is a glass bulb, or it could be very high quality plastic. Um, it's it's a little hard to tell actually. Um, it comes with two chargers, a car charger, and it comes with a um, regular. Um, outlet charger and um, the thing that I do notice is the one downside with it is that um, I've never seen like a green light turn on it's whenever I charge it it's always on red I've never you know been able to tell if uh, oh it's done it's it's always been on the green light and yes I've charged this thing for 12 15 hours and I've never seen the green light so that could be an issue of overcharging. You could overcharge it and destroy it. I don't know. Um, mine still works. As you can see. Now, there are two different options that um, I have seen. Uh, they have this version, and they have uh, the LED version, which shoots out a blue beam. And uh, I actually had a buddy of mine that had the exact same one. He had the LED one, and I had this one. There's almost no difference in it. And I asked him, hey, uh, how much did that cost you? And, you know, I was like, oh, it was a bit more than yours. Uh, he didn't exactly say, but I, I knew how much um, these were. Uh, I got mine for $80. And um, at the time, the LED version was 130 That's a pretty big jump. That's a... Uh, that's a pretty big jump for almost no difference. Um, I don't exactly know the lumens of this, but it doesn't tell you here. These are two product, um, it, it's like a catalog. It doesn't say definite, you know, uh, it doesn't say the specifics. Um, it shows stupid graphs and stuff like that in there. It just shows the, just the different thing. It doesn't say this specific one in there. That, oh yeah, this has this lumens, this has that lumens, and whatever. But, I don't know why. But, um, so I use this on a daily basis, and it is a very good flashlight. I don't, again, I don't know the lumens, but it's high up there. It's, uh, it's very high quality, and it's very good for the duty-wise, because again, you can get the universal ones, and yes, they make basket weave and you know, they make basket weave and leather and um, STX like this. But um, it's a, it's one of the most popular ones out there. I've definitely seen. Um, it is a very universal one, so you can just you know if you're looking for this for duty. Um, definitely go about uh, getting it, I would say. Um, you don't need to be carrying some big, huge mag light that weighs 10 pounds. They have an insane amount of, uh, you know, 
products for uh, duty holsters to hold these. You know, normally uh, you don't really see that with a specific thing. Like you can actually find, you know, um, oh, you can actually get the the flip top. You can get like a flip top, or you can get an open ended or anything like that for your duty belt. But the big thing is, is it fits in the uh, the universal holster from the nylon one, which is absolutely amazing to start out. Didn't have to carry this in my pocket, which it can fit in a pocket too, or relatively easy. And uh, I have dropped this thing, and it's it still works well. So it is a good a good flashlight. It's just um, that is the one thing that I have noticed. It never turns green. Um, there there is no like uh, like I said, there is no instruction manual in there. It's just the different uh, series. I'm just like, what the heck? They should really be putting this in here, like Streamlight Stinger. This is how long it takes. This is, you know, what you got to do, blah, blah, blah. They don't have any of that. So, that's my review.